Welcome, this is Integrated Math 3 Practice Test for 10. Ready? Question number 16. We are in subpart 2, so calculators are allowed. Is x the quantity x plus 2 a factor of x to the third minus x squared minus x minus 2? Um, so I'm going to use synthetic division here. You're welcome to use long division. If you have a remainder, it is not a factor. That's how it works. So you can't have um, a remainder and it, it ends up uh, working out well for you. Otherwise, it's not a factor. The big thing is when you do synthetic division, you're using a solution and not a factor. So I need to use the zero product property to find the solution. Negative 2. So that will go here. 1, negative 1, negative 1, negative 2. Let's bring the first one down and then do 1 times negative 2, which gives you negative 2. Combine this together and get negative 3. And there's my remainder. Negative 12. So is it a factor? No, because it doesn't it, because it has a remainder. So the answer to number 16 is C. If you wanted to do it long division style, that's fine too. I should probably make more room for this now that I think about it. The, up, the only upside to doing um, long division style is that you do not have to change it to a, uh, a solution from a factor, but it still takes like way longer. And if you're on a time test, it's probably not the best. Anyway, I need to get rid of x or I need to eliminate x to the third, so in order to do that I need to multiply this term by x squared, so x squared will go here. You get x to the third minus, or then you go 2 times x squared. Now, here's the thing for me. This is a subtraction. That's how you eliminate it. So I automatically, before I do anything else in this section, Go ahead and change the signs of both because it's minus this and minus this. Visually speaking, I have a real problem if I just have to remember that it's subtraction. I tend not to think of it that way. So this way I can just cancel them out. And then I get negative 3 x squared. That makes more sense to me visually. For you, you might be able to keep it all in your head and you don't need to do that, um, but that's fine. But to me, I just like to look at them and say, okay, those cancel out. But if I have to think negative x squared minus 2x squared, and it's plus here, I just never will do it. There's just too much visual stuff for me to deal with. Anyway, I want to eliminate negative 3x, so this is minus 3. x. And again, this changes signs, so does this one. Those cancel, 5x. So uh, I want to do or eliminate 5x here, so I'm going to do plus 5. And again, change the signs before I move forward. See, it's not a factor because you have this negative 12 left over. So you'd end up with x squared minus 3x plus 5 minus 12 over x plus 2. And who wants that? And just to go back and make the quick comparative between the synthetic in case you need to see that again because who wouldn't want to see that again? How exciting. There's my remainder. There's my x squared minus 3x plus 5, just like up here. So the answer to this is C. There, it is not a factor because there is a remainder.